Today I will show you a very easy and reliable way to create die cut lines in Adobe Illustrator. This method ensures that when you send your project files to a printing company, they will cut your design accurately, giving you the exact result you want. Start by opening your design file in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure your artwork is ready and finalized before creating the die cut lines. Now go to the top menu and click select and all to select your entire design. Then go to object and group to group everything together. Grouping keeps your artwork intact and avoid accidentally moving or editing individual parts. With your grouped artwork selected, go to edit, copy and then edit and paste in place. This duplicates your design directly on top of the original which you will now use to create the die cut outline. Open the Pathfinder panel by going to Window menu, Pathfinder. In the panel click the Unite icon. This merges all the shapes of your duplicated design into a single solid shape, which will act as the base for your die cut line. With the united shape selected, go to Object, Path, Offset Path. A dialog box will appear. Here set the offset amount. This controls the distance between your artwork and the cut line. For stickers, a small value works well. Choose round in the joins menu for smooth edges and set the matter limit. A value between 4 and 8 usually works fine. Then click OK. After creating the offset path, you will have two shapes, the original and the new offset path. Select and delete the original shape using the direct selection tool so that only the offset path remains. Select the remaining offset path in the swatches panel. Go to window menu and choose swatches if it is not open. Set the fill color to none. Then make sure the stroke icon is active and change the stroke color to cyan or any other specific color your printing company requires for die cut lines. And that's it. You have successfully created a die cut line in Adobe Illustrator. This path now clearly tells the printer where to cut your design. You can repeat the same process for any other graphic or artwork you want to turn into a sticker or custom cut design. By following these steps, you can confidently prepare your files for printing and ensure professional and precise results every time. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.